For this video, I will be sharing with you guys lots of cleaning, lots of motivation to get your kitchen clean. I'm cleaning in the places where I don't usually clean most of the time and it's gonna be messy, it's gonna be dirty, it's gonna be nasty. So come join me while I clean my kitchen and you get motivated at home to clean your kitchen later. Hi everyone, my name is Delia Mireya. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, welcome to my channel. In my channel, I share with you guys lots of cleaning, lots of motivation to get your home cleaning. I know you're probably not gonna get to the end of this video, but you're gonna be so motivated that you're gonna wanna get to cleaning your kitchen. For this video, I'm gonna be cleaning in the dirty places, the places where we don't usually clean the most, at least I don't. I'm gonna be cleaning my microwave. It was so nasty, it was so dirty. I don't use it as much, but the times that I do use it, I don't clean it after every use. There's food in there that's left for days, weeks, months. I don't even know. Like I don't use it as much and I don't clean it as much, which I should. I'm gonna get started with cleaning my dining room area first. I have a very small dining room area and a small dining room table. So I'm gonna clean up, pick everything up. I like to put everything in its place first, throw everything that needs to be thrown away, pick up dirty dishes, put them in the sink, and just clean up. And then I'm gonna be cleaning my table. I'm gonna be using a cleaner from Weeman. This is the only cleaner that I use for this table. I used a cleaner that had a little bit of bleach, I think, the first time that I bought this table, it left like a stain. I'm like, no, I don't want to stain my new table. We've had this for uh, about a year now, but this is the only cleaner that I can trust to clean my table. I'm going to be cleaning the chairs as well. Just a quick clean and then put them on top of the table. That way I have lots of room to sweep and to mop my dining room area. But before that, I'm going to be cleaning the windows. Yeah, the, the window area is nasty. There's dead bugs, dead flies, lots of dust mites. I'm gonna be using my vacuum with to clean that. Then I'm gonna be using some Windex and my squeegee to clean my window. But my window was so dirty, you guys. I had to use a microfiber cloth with a little bit of soap. It had lots of dust on it. I don't clean it as much, which I should clean more often but I don't. So that's why I had to use a microfiber cloth just to get rid of the dust before applying Windex. I did a mixture in hot water. I used OxyClean and the Pinellin. Did I say that right? Pinellin? Just a little bit of OxyClean. This is gonna be my cleanser like to be cleaning the rest of the kitchen area, whatever it is that I need to clean. So yeah, I'm gonna be putting my microfiber cloth there or my rag and then I'm gonna be cleaning the window because it had lots of, like when I would kill flies, you know, the, the whatever's left over after you kill bugs, <laughs> dust, whatever it is on my window, I had to get rid of it with a rag first. Then I used Windex and a squeegee. Then I'm going to be cleaning the blinds. Just a quick clean. I know it looks like I'm doing it really rough, but I'm actually doing it with very, just being very cautious because I don't want to break my blinds. I was just speeding through, making it quick. Now I'm going to be cleaning the chandelier, you guys. This is really nasty. I'm so embarrassed. I had some family members visiting and we were eating dinner and I look up and I'm like, this is nasty. Like the chandelier is so dirty. I was so embarrassed. I'm like, I hope they don't look up. I hope they don't look at all that dust that's up there. I haven't cleaned this and I'm so embarrassed to say, but it's been a long time, probably years. Yeah, I know, I know. It's I'm gonna try and keep it up and clean it every now and then. It was nasty. I was so embarrassed and I'm like, when they leave, I need to get these cleaned. So 
So what I did is once again, I asked that I added the Penalan OxyClean hot water, very, very hot water, but I added a little more hot water, very hot water because I wanted them to fill up that way. Um, I left them in for a couple minutes. Then I grabbed my brush. I brushed all that dirtiness away. It really did help and it cleaned it up so quickly. OxyClean is great. Not only is it good for clothes, it's good for cleaning lots of other things. And then I used my my microfiber cloth or any, you know, like you can use any rag that you have and then just uh, dry them up with that. They were so, so clean, sparkly clean, you guys, really. Then I decided to clean the chandelier. As if you can see the microfiber cloth that I'm using, it's very, very hot. You can see the steam on it. So hot. And I wanted it to be hot because I wanted to get rid of all that grease or oil, that dirt, whatever's up there. It really did clean it up. And now I wanted to give it some shine after. So I'm going to be using these stainless steel, the cleaner and polish. I'm using the wipes and then the spray as well. Let's move on. I'm going to be doing some sweeping. I just sweep with my broom and then pick up all that stuff that's down there. Food, whatever. And then I'm going to be mopping. And I'm going to be using the piña land. I'm going to be using a little bit of Clorox. I always like to use just a little bit of Clorox just to disinfect. I just feel more comfortable that my floor is truly clean when I use just a little bit of Clorox. I'm going to be using the OxyClean once again. OxyClean has been like my favorite favorite cleaning product for about two years already. I use it a lot and I use it for mostly everything, everything to clean in my home. I don't think I mentioned this, but it's hot water. I always use hot water when I mop. Moving on to the mess in my kitchen. I'm gonna pick up everything, throw everything that needs to be thrown away. I think the kitchen is one of the messiest places in my home. It always gets messy and I always have to keep up on it. It can be overwhelming at times. I mean, cooking all day, cleaning all day, cleaning after you cook. And sometimes I just give myself a rest. After eating and cooking, I just give myself a rest and I don't think 
I should give myself a rest because I need to get cleaning and things just start piling up. I'm going to be disinfecting my vegetables, so I'm going to be using a clean cloth and I'm going to be placing them there. That way they dry there. This is how I disinfect my fruits and vegetables. I don't know how you guys do it at home. Please let me know in the comments below what you do to clean your fruits and vegetables and disinfect them. This is the way that I do it. I just bought this cleaner from Walmart and I like it, but then again, I feel like I still need to give it a, a, another clean. So sometimes for some vegetables, like the cucumbers, I use my dish sponge for some vegetables and then I clean them like if I was out washing dishes. For my cilantro, you guys, I have to put them in a bowl with water because I used to just rinse them with water. But then if you put it in a bowl, you actually see all the dirt that's left behind. Make sure that you put your cilantro in a bowl with water. To wash my dishes i use a sponge and then i'm going to be using dawn dish soap this is my favorite soap the soap that i've used for years i've tried other soaps but i don't they're not as great this one is a degreaser and i can feel that it's cleaning my dishes and it's leaving them squeaky clean and that's how i like my dishes to be i add just a little bit of bleach once again and i forgot to use gloves this time I know sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, which I'm trying to use them more often, but I just forget at times. I'm like, I just want to get this done quickly, so I just forget to use my glove. Cleaning up the rest of the kitchen. Later on, you're going to see that my oven was so nasty. We don't usually eat hamburgers, but I just had a craving for hamburgers. So I, what I wanted to do before grilling them, I wanted to put them in the oven for a couple of minutes and that grease just jumped everywhere. It made a mess inside my oven. There was grease everywhere and it burned so bad that you'll see my oven so dirty and so nasty. And I hadn't cleaned it for a while also, but my oven wasn't that dirty until this happened. But I'm glad it happened because that way I was able to give my oven a deep clean. I'm going to be using a cleaner for the oven that you guys are going to want to buy after you guys see the results.
Another place that I am so embarrassed to show you guys is the top of my kitchen or the ceiling. It had so much grease. It was nasty. I was, I used to tell my husband like people are going to come to the house and they're going to be like, I don't want to eat here. This kitchen is nasty. I could see in certain areas that the oil was about to drip of the grease. Are you, can you guys see that? Like the oil is almost dripping. That's how bad it was. And I just knew I had to get to cleaning it, but I just hadn't got my time around to cleaning it. I'm like, I'm gonna do it later. I'm gonna do it later. And later, later never came. And this is months of not cleaning it. I'm using the Goof Off, which is another one of my favorite cleaning products as a degreaser. It gets rid of everything. And I'm also going to be using a microfiber cloth and it's going to be very, very hot. I cleaned it and I put it in the microwave with a little bit of water for it to be humid and it was hot. It was hot. I know I should have got some gloves, but then again, once again, I didn't. I wanted to mention that I am not sponsored by any of the products that I'm mentioning to you. I have never been sponsored till this day. I've never got in any sponsorship with any company. I am using the products that I really love. These products help with my cleaning. I like to clean with products that I don't need to use a lot of elbow grease. I like to use cleaning products that will do the job easily and I don't have to be scrubbing as much. This really helped. You guys are able to see the results here. It's cleaning it almost right away. Then I use my brush just to get rid of the grease. I just felt like I wanted to give it a deep cleaning there. I'm going to be cleaning my microwave. I'm going to be using my DIY cleaner that I did at home. It's water, Dawn dish soap, and vinegar. I like to clean with this because I feel like it leaves it really clean. And I just have that fresh cleaning feel. Like, okay, my microwave is clean. It's ready for me to use it again. And I feel that it's clean when I use the vinegar. I know it smells a little bit, but I got used to the smell. It's not that bad for me anymore. You can also add essential oils for the smell not to be as bad, but I don't mind it at all. And it leaves my microwave so shiny and clean. Are you guys ready to see what oven cleaner I use to clean my oven? Mr. Muscle. I'll leave it to you in the description box below. I purchased it from Amazon. And it really, really cleans your oven so good, you guys. I used another oven cleaner before. It cleaned it, but then I had to use a lot of elbow grease. And this time, you saw how crusty and nasty my oven was. I sprayed it, and the first wipe I gave it, a lot of nastiness came out. The crusty, burned grease, whatever it is that's on my oven, it got rid of it, most of it, right away. But I had to do this process. I had to repeat the process three times. And the reason why I did that was because I was so anxious to
to see the results that I cleaned it right away where I only left it for a couple minutes and I cleaned it and you have to be patient with this but then it's recommended to leave it overnight. Now this is the first attempt of me cleaning it. And right when I wiped it, I could see that it was getting rid of most of the stuff. But my oven was at its worst that it's been. I sprayed it, like I said, mentioned the third time. I left it overnight. And when I woke up in the morning, I cleaned it. And I'm like, you know what? This cleaner is going to be dry. It's going to be so hard for me to take off. It actually wasn't. It felt like lotion. And when you wipe it away, it doesn't leave any residue. I enjoyed this cleaner so much i give it a five stars five out of five and i'm gonna continue using this cleaner for my oven please let me know in the comments what do you use to clean your oven let me know if it works i know there are a lot of things out there that could work i guess i'm lazy i don't like to use a lot of elbow grease and i want something that's simple and can get the job done and this definitely definitely did the job
once I put all my dishes away, they were clean, they were dry, I put them away. I'm going to be using this cleanser from Miss Myers. It's a baking soda cleanser. I really like this cleanser as well because it leaves my kitchen sink very clean and it gives it a shine. I was impressed when I first used it and I've used this for about a year now and I really like it also. And I used a small brush that I used to clean my kitchen sink only. I used it to clean the small areas where it's kind of hard to get to. I guess you can say this is like my routine, how I clean my kitchen sink. I really liked it. So these are the result of my clean kitchen. It feels so good to have a clean kitchen. It feels so good to have a clean home. You just feel like you can relax. You can throw yourself in bed and be comfortable and watch some TV. No, just kidding. The kitchen is clean and it's going to get dirty again because I'm going to keep cooking in it and everything repeats itself. But at least I get to enjoy that clean feeling a couple hours before it gets dirty again <laughs> this is what my dining room area looks like i hope that you guys enjoy the before and after at the end of this video i shared with you guys how everything looked like before and how everything turns out after thank you guys so much for watching this video please stick around here in my channel don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy these videos subscribe that way you can come back and watch the rest of my videos and i hope that you really get motivated to cleaning your home Take care, guys. May God bless you all, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.